The following program makes use of copywritten material as part of a psychological examination of music. All music copyrights remain property of their respected creators. Hey, before we start today's show, I'd like to say just a few words about Alpha Vapes, the recommended shop in town for vaping machines and vape machine accessories. Uh, I'd like to say e-cigarette, but these look nothing like cigarettes. They look like the future. Don't be afraid of the future, ladies and gentlemen. Alpha Vapes and their super friendly staff can help you with all your vaping needs and set you up with the right equipment and vape juice that you need. Uh, they also have over 350 house blends to choose from at generous prices. Don't forget to mention us at checkout. Alpha Vapes is located at 3011 11th Street, Huntsville, Texas, in between Wingstop and where the old Radio Shack used to be, over by Hobby Lobby and Double Dave's. Alpha Vapes, leaving the pack behind. Hey kids, welcome to today's show. Uh, in today's brand new episode, uh, we do something we haven't done in a long time. We get to interview a band. Uh, take that back. It's not we. Uh, it's totally John. Uh, I had to work that day, and it was one of those days that I wouldn't have gotten off early enough that I could have joined them. Uh, I came in at the very like tail end of it, uh, but I ran to my room because I didn't want to disrupt them. But Johnny, uh, tell us who you interviewed. This, this is not the second. I mean, this is not the first time that's ever happened to. No, that's well. Because you you did that, I think I want to say with. Uh, uh, You're talking about belting for Nosh? Belting for Nosh. No, I was sick that day. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I was sick that day. Yeah. I felt like shit and I just didn't want to do it. But uh, no, this one, uh, I came in, I saw a bunch of just random dudes yeah. inside. I could smell beer. Yeah. That was weird. I could smell it. Yeah. Were they drinking a lot? They weren't drinking a lot, no. I mean, it wouldn't outrage It was in the air, though. <laughs> <laughs> the odor of Miller Lite was in the air. It was, it was certainly Miller Lite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so no, no. Anyways, who did who did you interview? Uh, Palace Saints. Okay. Yeah. No, no. I uh, you had told me that they wanted to do a show, and like I said before, it was one of those days I had to work, so I wasn't gonna yeah. make it. But still, pretty awesome that we get to uh, do a show with a, a band again, interviewing bands. We haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. So what was that like to uh, to do that again? Well, here's the thing. I've never met them before, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, all that I had was basically research, looking after them, you know, trying to follow them and and uh, listening to their album. And, uh, you know, I really dug it. But um, so basically, I didn't think um, that I was going to be able to catch their show. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I had a company uh, Christmas party that I had to run like drive to the woodlands uh to make like as soon as the podcast was over dude i had to like get and go mm -hmm. and uh i made that on time um but i didn't try to cut the episode short or anything i let it play out as long as it needed to because you know to me it makes sense to make it fair for everybody get everybody can get their time in as much as they need and dude the the podcast was solid these oh, yeah. guys fucking hilarious like that, that's one thing that i could say is that whenever i did sneak in and i was just sitting in my room uh i definitely heard a lot of laughter dude and, it was uh, fun it was great that that was something that made me happy because I, I, and I didn't know anything about these dudes i didn't know what to expect and uh, i was inside i was in my room just sort of listening to their music a little bit it's great music totally i, I dig oh, their yeah, music a whole yeah. lot so but in in between songs like i would hear random bursts of laughter from you guys and, sure. and, and it seemed like a lot of good energy was coming from it. it seemed like you were having a great time so yeah. i made i made the conscious decision not to crash my own show yeah and uh you know <laughs> you'd be like hey buddy uh i'm gonna use this mic now yeah and share <laughs> why don't you scoot scoot over there boy <laughs> um the, but the guys were they were they were great like especially like not really knowing who they were and mm -hmm. like meeting them on the spot. Yeah. And honestly, you know, it's been like a month since we did an episode. Right. Really. Um, I was super freaking surprised how quick pushing the record button mm -hmm. was and changing my personality mm -hmm. to like, like I was in it mm -hmm. instantly. Like it all came back to me and it was all natural and it, it felt great. Uh, this was a great episode. 
funny parts. These guys seem to be really cool. Um, you were able to actually catch their show. Well, that's what I was about to say. Like, we came back in time. Like, I was damn sure I was missing the Pal- Palace Saints. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we came back in time, uh, walked in. Apparently, Den Mother went first. Mm-hmm. And I I missed them, unfortunately, because I've heard them before, and they're great. Yeah. Um, but I was able to catch the Palace Saints, and uh, that... That was awesome. I walked, you know, I went in there and they were like, oh, shit, dude. Awesome. You were able to make it. Yeah. And uh, the one thing that I have to be able to say, like listening to their music online, even catching the YouTube videos online are great. Mm -hmm. But if you go and see the show, like these guys really are more like set up in the sense of like it. Like, I don't want to say jam band, Mm -hmm. but they are able to improvise like a motherfucker. Right. Like they just. Uh, they'll go on these these you know crazy you know riffages that aren't written Mm -hmm. they aren't set up and um for them to do that like out of nowhere was amazing yeah like the the they had the fog machines oh my god they had uh these uh crazy lights going on that like Uh created these images and it was an experience like i don't do drugs but i was high that's awesome like it was it was great (laughs) right um and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I just have to say, man, um, it, one another thing I want to mention is like the way they end their songs is fun. Mm-hmm. Like they'll they they like fade out a little bit and then they'll do this like dun, 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 like just shredding on the yeah. guitar in the process. Like and then they'll bump, you know, like end it like it's hard to explain. But like if you see it. It's it's fucking cool. You guys need to check them out. So it's it's a fun time. You can you know, good riffs, good jams. Yeah, yeah. A lot of positive energy from them. For sure. That's good. These guys are cool. That's great. Yeah. Well, let's uh let's not wait any longer to get into it, sir. Okay. Uh we got our um Patreon shout outs. Patreon shout outs. Real quick. Yep. Um we got uh By the way, your your mix CDs are a big hit with uh our our friend Alex Vodder. Uh, she she sent me a she okay so you were supposed to send her one on Halloween right because you did the the blood coven mix yeah yeah and uh, we had trouble getting that to her because we got it we it got it sent it got sent back to us <laughs> it got sent back to us because there wasn't enough stamps on the envelope That's some bullshit dude. <laughs> but whenever it got back to us it was like all beat up for yeah. some reason like stepped on I don't know what the fuck happened in yeah, the that mail was, service that was really weird. But uh, I just added another stamp and sent it back out. Well, uh, she got it, and she she really dug it. And uh, so, shout out to Alex Vodder. Uh, glad you're enjoying the mix CDs. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for uh, supporting what we do. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to Unanimous Anonymous. Yep. Whoever you are. Um, who else do we have? Uh, shout uh, out to Ran K. Ran K, our, our beloved Ran K. She, she's left her, uh, her nest in Huntsville and she moved on to somewhere in Lake Conroe, I want to say. Yeah, it's, it's not far. Not it's, far. Not it's closer far. to Willis, actually. Yeah. Um, but, uh, she'll be, she'll be with us pretty soon. For sure. For a real talk. For sure. Um, and that's all we got, I yeah. believe. So, all right. shout out to all you cool kids. It's great to, great to talk for you guys again. You Absolutely. Know. Hey, it's good to be back, man. It's good to be back, man. <laughs> um, yeah. You ready? So, uh, yeah. Let's go into it, buddy. All right. You go into it this time. <laughs> Can I do my impression of you? Yeah, yeah. It's All right. Here we- All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Conversationalist. <laughs> say welcome to the show awesome man um unfortunately i don't have my co-host here um i'm gonna be doing this myself so bear with me if uh if we have any issues uh 
we usually start off with these fun questions where um, they're just they have nothing to do with uh, <laughs> with the um, with the music at all. Mm-hmm. Hey, fun, um, is fun is good. So uh, it's going to be like across the board. We're going to take our time. Each individual person answer this. So uh, Rick Sanchez of Rick and Morty crashes. <laughs> 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 he crashes his ship into your room while you're sleeping alone. He obviously wakes you. He tells you to come with him on a journey back in time to destroy Hitler. Apparently, I'm not that creative. I come up with Hitler like everybody else. Um, The trip will take you six hours, and there is a five-disc limit on the CD player in a ship. You also consider that you may never come back from this, uh, so you may be stuck with these albums forever. What five albums are you taking? Man. Uh... Definitely got to start with Tool, probably Lateralis. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, is this, a, is this a, a cumulative five or five individually? Five individually or? Yeah, no. Are, are uh, we a group going on this trip together? No, like it's uh, everybody pick five. Okay, we'd, have to, we'd yeah. have to have a 50 disc changer for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, this is a, this is a di- uh, very specific situation where like you're, it's just happening to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, oh, so cool. Tool, Lateralis, uh, the Killers, Hot Fuzz, Pearl mm. Jam, Tim, um, Avenged Sevenfold, Backcountry. How many is that? <laughs> I wasn't counting. Four. That's four. 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 And That's then um, um, the the best of Lionel Richie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here I got it. Uh, I would have to take. Probably Yankee Hotel Foxtrot by Wilco. Um, Got to throw some fish in there, so probably Billy Breeds. Oh, I forgot fish. Uh, in the aeroplane over the sea, Neutral Milk Hotel, definitely. Wow. Definitely. That's killer stuff. Um, so we're at three. Animals by Pink Floyd, of course. That is, that's my Pink Floyd album. That's my favorite is Animals. And to top it off, just some like random mix <laughs> 70s r&b just a mix of something some uh some fun sure. names yeah now yeah. tim oh, oh, what's <laughs> no, your what's nice your name again tim. cole cole humphrey and the, and the first guy uh cole <laughs> we got we got two coles we got two coles so. yeah oh, this, is, this is gonna be fun yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. running joke is if you forget somebody's name just throw cole out there yeah, you, you, got, you got better <laughs> odds yeah you, something will stick somebody will turn their head around if you just say cole I had two Nikos in my band at one time. So really? No, that's that's kind of a weird that's name, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nico. Name yeah. to have well, so is Cole. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Nico Bull. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Magic plug. All right, all right. And what's your name? Kyle. My name? Oh. Kyle Monty. Kyle, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So my five CDs on my spaceship. I'm going to start off with Ram by Paul McCartney. Great album. And Linda McCartney. Um, number two... Jeez, this is a tough one. Probably the the full. Well, this is gonna take up two CDs, probably. The full a box set. Well, it's just two CDs. <laughs> yeah, if you count it as an as an album, that works. Uh, well, it's a whole live fish show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's one CD. Sure, yeah. Man, that's a badass CD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> got a lot of time on it. <laughs> uh, the the full Fukuoku Japan show from two thousand. Fish, man, that's prime, prime fish. <laughs> I don't, see, I'm not into seafood. Oh, man. <laughs> P-H-I-S-H. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to go actually. with... Uh, oh, man. Uh, this is harder than you think when you're on the spot. I think I would that's that's why I do this. I know. It's I do this to you. And now it's like... Right. Uh, <laughs> um, Superfly soundtrack by Curtis Mayfield. I'm going with that. As number three. Oh man, let's see. Does he even know five albums? Oh, man, <laughs> he definitely does. I do. It's just where's my phone? <laughs> uh, do you want to get back to your last two? Man, I'm having I'm having trouble here. Well, it sucks. Once you answer that, <clears throat> now I'm thinking of a yeah, bunch all more. the ones I yeah. like. Why don't I have the White Album in there? God, throw that in there. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. The White Album by the Beatles, and then. Um, 
Just a mashup of Led Zeppelin. That, dude, that's what I like. Yeah. Just like, like greatest straight, hits? Well, yeah, well some, greatest deep, some deep hits. tracks, some deep cuts in there, right, too. Right. Just a whole mashup. As whatever whatever the CD will hold. You know, held their whole discography if I could fit it on one CD. Gotcha. So, I think that's five, yeah. Close enough. Close enough, yeah. You ever heard that one, uh, Stairway to Heaven? No, no I think I've heard of that. that. Yeah, I'm, is, that, is that a band? That's uh. Yeah. Sounds kind of sounds yeah. kind of underground. Though. And uh, one year for Christmas, I got like two Stairway to Heaven T-shirts <laughs> like, from different people. They must have been hot at Walmart at that time yeah. or something. I don't know. Flying off the shelf, they had a good deal on it. <laughs> got to get them. Buy, buy one, get the other one free. They just split them up. Uh-huh. Um, my name is Cole as well. No, my name is Cole. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Alex. Uh, my five. I'm gonna have trouble naming five. Maybe not. I know these guys probably wanted to name it. But OK Computer. Oh, wow. I'm putting Radiohead. I want it like die. the greatest albums ever. I'm, I don't know. You know, uh, my two favorite from Radiohead are not OK Computer. What are they? Um, it's, Controversial. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Nico, if he was here, he would have to say In Rainbows. In Rainbows. That's and I'm, right. I'm closer to In Rainbows now than I've ever been. But... Um, Kid A for sure. Dude, Kid New Year's Kid A, Kid A. Kid A is awesome. because it was revolutionary. Man. What do you think of what do you think of their new stuff? What do you think of uh, uh man, I just kinda fell off the Tom York train for a you while. Just yeah. So what's the what's the newest one? Moonshape Pool. Moonshape, Moonshape Pool, Pool yeah. Right. No. No. I, I think like there's a track on there, the numbers, that that's that's my favorite off of that. But yeah. like you said, if you're you gotta find that Tom York train again, I guess. Yeah, you gotta you know, I like his his individual stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one. Right. Uh, another one, maybe uh, you'd have to throw in some. You have to throw in Mark Knopfler, uh, probably Brothers in Arms uh, by Dire Straits. That album, I just oh, right. love, I just love uh, Chet Atkins, him and uh, Chet Atkins and Mark Knopfler did an album together. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name real quick. Back and forth or something like that. Great stuff. Those are my heroes. Uh, Santana. I knew that one was coming. Santana. 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 I mean anything, just Santana. You know the name. Uh, this, yeah. Any specific album? Ooh, I don't even know if I know any uh, any Santana album names off the top of my head. Yeah, the one with uh, Rob Thomas. Uh, <laughs> hey, you gotta admit, <laughs> you gotta admit, somebody coming back out of nowhere like that. The biggest hit in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. That was a good it. album though, for real, because it had like he was touching base with everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, across the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sure. I don't know what the album was called, but I fucking had it. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people did. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the name of the album, but I'm just gonna toss a, a throw a dart at the dartboard. And I'm just gonna say the album was smooth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty <laughs> fucking smooth. <laughs> pretty <laughs> fucking smooth. <laughs> like Great everybody, album. Everybody oh. knows that song, so yeah. I'm just taking a guess that that's what they You're made fired. the album. <laughs> I remember. It, I don't know who sang it, but it was like Maria Maria was a good song on that too. Yeah. Maria Maria. Yeah. Reminds me of yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call Call Santana. Santana. <laughs> Wait, DJ Khaled just brought up a, a redo of that song. Oh, they used shit. that exact same melody. No, no. Top 40 song. Yeah, I have okay. no idea what it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good on you. Um, <laughs> I get a Pearl Jam, obviously. I love Pearl Jam 10, maybe Yield. Uh, Pearl Jam, that was my first love. Ooh. Oh. So, uh, Pearl Jam is one of those heavily respected Dr. bands. Pepper. Yeah, but uh, like I only can really, really exactly. dig one song. What is it? I think I like Black because oh, of the yeah. emotion. You know, <laughs> we played that. That was like the first song. Whoa, whoa, time! Can it be? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you My okay? tattooed okay? hounds. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what is that? At? What does that put me? Two, three. Three? The hard thing is, I think it's not just four. good albums, but it's something you you could potentially have You're, to listen to. Yeah, for the rest of your life. Yeah, and that's what. Yeah, well, shout out, it. shout out to a band, Portugal the Man. Oh yes, uh, American Ghetto Portugal. would probably be an album I take. Maybe I um, could listen to that one. That forever. one's great. American Ghetto is great, but they had you know they had some huge crossover, yeah, hits and stuff just come about. So shout out to those guys. But yeah, uh, yeah, they fucking sold out. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I liked them before. What's up, too. Kyle? No, they're good. <laughs> they're really good. No, the, uh, yeah, that's it. I, I feel like just anything that uh, Neon Icon. Like yeah, it doesn't have to be anything as long as it's like, as long as it's good music. If somebody you know, my mom all the time like just driving on a you know road trip, right? You would just hear something pop up, but it would be like 
first song you're like what the hell am I listening to second yeah, song yeah. it's just like alright the third song you kind of you're, you're yeah you're feeling you know? it now yeah. so as long as if I'm on a real tr- trip with Rick Sanchez I think I'll be alright yeah man that would I'd turn the radio girl. off and just talk to him. Yeah, man. I know. Shit, why I wouldn't need listen, that. Why are we listening to music? Yeah. What, the, what are we getting what into? We're going to kill Hitler. Like that's the. Yeah. How, how are we I mean, gonna do this? Honestly, if, if we're oh, going, geez, if we're going, oh, oh man, you know, I'm just not sure about this, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to kill Hitler, I think I'm going to play some Cypress Hill. Oh, yeah. yeah. there you go, <laughs> dude. I kept seeing the the Slipknot poster, like right in my vision, and I had that. What was that one? Means you can probably help me out with this. That one. Mudvayne album that had Dig on it. Yeah, LD50. Oh yeah. man, that album. Dig. Holy They played some Mudvayne yeah. before we got. We there. we did an episode on them. Really? <laughs> yeah, man, that yeah. album. That album. I, I, that I think I wore, if it's watch. possible to wear an album like a CD out. I know you can wear a record out, like yeah. a vinyl record. But man, that CD. Whew, Dude, I'm surprised it had, didn't melt in my stereo. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so my answer for that whole thing was like five us. burnt mix CDs. Oh, for man. sure, yeah. Oh, you guys, no. you guys all failed. Yeah. So yeah, I'm no. <laughs> sitting here trying to rack my brain. Unlimited like, oh, everything. All right, I got another question. Uh, what album or artist is your most shameful guilty pleasure? The most uncool. Cher, Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. Oh. Mine was just Cher, yeah. Cheryl Crow. I, just tacked wow. on the I feel old, bad the for both crow. of you. Just <laughs> um, <laughs> sh- sh- Cheryl Crow. Cher. Excuse me. God bless. Um, uh, maybe just like um, mainstream hip hop. I love it all. Jeez, that's a hard question. <laughs> Colin Kyle. He's, he's very unashamed about everything. So. I'm really not. Yeah. Um, I like Toto. I don't know if that's really shameful or not. Actually, when we were pulling in the driveway, Africa by Toto was on, and we we had to make a block, and we had to finish. It I also. Out. I, I, I mean, hear about that song all the time on the internet nowadays. Man, that song I, is amazing. I'd, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy jamming some Katy Perry here and there. Ooh, I uh, didn't even know that. Like Dark Horse, man, that gets me going. Uh, Does it get you going like a Dark Horse? Like a Dark Horse. Like a Dark Horse. I'm not, I'm not gonna make it sexual, <laughs> but if you're gonna put that label to it, then sure, why not? not? <laughs> Kyle, oh, man, I'm terrible at this. What's your uh, guilty pleasure, dude? You know, whenever you leave the band. Well, Kyle I mean, doesn't I mean, know. Kyle doesn't know when music is bad, so it's hard for him to understand oh, what a guilty oh. pleasure is. <laughs> That's kind of what I was going with. I was just, man, man, I can see, I can find something in anything and be like, dude, I dig it. I don't care what you think. I like it. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. man, but what's I really like don't what's like the one thing you wouldn't want? That chocolate I don't want rain. To know that I like. Yeah. <laughs> like that's why I put uncool. What do you think is like the most un like socially uncool? Oh, Little River Band. Dude, Little River, get out of town, man. I jam some Little Mumford? River band. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get right out of town. You just go on out that door and get out of town. Um, what was the no, unsocially guess, cool? What was Charles Manson's music like? Oh yeah, I bet that would be like that's, socially oh, cool. Oh, say, oh, I well, like, dude, he um, actually really, if you go back and look, he, actually, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote really a cool. Beach Boys song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he actually that's what wrote, turned him yeah. all crazy is because one of the Beach Boys didn't didn't show up at that meeting and that's what flipped his switch. Well, they, dude. Like, Charles Manson's been involved with the uh, I forgot which Beach Boy it was, but it's like it was one of the it was one of the it wasn't Brian. It was one of the brothers. It was like uh, the untalented brothers. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was the, yeah. I think it was a drummer. I'm pretty sure it was a drummer. <laughs> Um, but um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It was a oh, what is it? Who is it? He's drumming for him now. Uh, the actor uh, John Stamos. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, what plays, he plays drums for the Beach Boys. No guys. way! I swear to God, look Dude, it up. Dude, no way! I swear, John Stamos from Full House plays drums for the Beach Breaking Boys. Breaking news! <laughs> I swear, man. That sounds like a TV show by itself. <laughs> it's, and that's John probably Stamos what he's shooting for. The, but he he Uncle Jesse, was? dude, he on the Full House. Yeah. He played, man. He, he was, actually, a, yeah, he was a musician a in the show. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he's a pretty good drummer. So wait, he wrote a song. Charles Manson. Yeah, they were involved because Charles Manson was in the music scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was, was like a up failed and coming. musician. Yeah. No, he was he was shitty though, dude. Like, <laughs> oh really? They, they, nobody liked him because he was kind of like a. I mean, really, the way that hipster music is now. He was now. the Daniel the Johnston original? of that era. Man, what? I don't know this. I like Daniel. Oh, <laughs> Dan- no, shit. but that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people, you show people Daniel Johnston, they're like, man, this sucks. But that uh-huh. was like. If you're an artist or uh, you have, I don't know, you will you find it. I love Daniel Johnson. You guys know uh, Edward Sharp and Magnetic Zero. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, they remind me of the Manson family for some oh, reason. Oh, for like, sure. I don't know why. Yeah. But like, I always always get that weird uh, weird vibe, kind of culty thing okay, going yeah. on. I like it though. It's weird. It's crazy. Yeah. I only know like the one like the hit song they had that. 
Home or whatever, I think it's called. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was a good song. Best song one. Talk about breaking I don't know if that's ass. a song, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we said. Like that. This, goes, this goes back to what I said about Kyle earlier. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. Man. <laughs> good, me- man. good music, bad music. Just, just music. Music. Oh. music. Man, my guilty one, music. I really don't know, man. I really like... Uh, Garth Brooks, at, not oh, as Garth Brooks as Chris is, Gaines. Okay, Chris so Gaines. can I'm not guilty mm. about it, and I sometimes listen to it on purpose to make right. fun of it, right? And just because how shitty it is, sure. The bro country, dude. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stadium. Totally. Oh my god. Was it like, like how many songs? Florida, can you write? Georgia. Oh, that you took it words right out of my mouth. Like how many <laughs> songs can you write about? A truck. Apparently, well, you gotta have the good stuff. Well, Apparently, you, you gotta have painted on blue jeans. Well, no, you gotta you, have a river crick. You got, you gotta have, you gotta have like a hip hop beat. Oh, it's, like, yes. like a drum we just ride down the to the doing? country. I'm sorry. Shoot it back, shoot it back, shoot it back. <laughs> Shake it yeah. for the birds. Shake it for the. Bees. Oh God, I'm gonna throw up. I know it is. It's terrible. Oh, next question. <laughs> yeah, I'm upset. I'm just, it's, it's my blood boiling, man. But I do honestly listen to it to make fun of it. <laughs> right, right. But uh, insane clown posse for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I, pretty, I, or Creed. Or Creed. Oh. Creed's a, Creed. Creed. Alter Bridge. Yeah. Uh, uh, I never, I never dug. Isn't that the? Uh, that's the Creed. That's like the. Um, what's it? What? Not the. It, it, it's a band without uh, Scott Stapp. That's exactly. But it. um, without Jock Strap. I. A jock. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you made me think of that's funny. That's funny. That's a good one. Thanks for bringing that to the show, man. We needed that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um. But yeah. yeah, but for the nostalgia reasons, I like. Oh, yeah. 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 See how yeah, the Creed weathered album in like sixth grade. I yeah. like destroyed that. I, I listen to that album so much. I don't think I've How ever many told anyone that. How from the edge that. was he? With arms wide uh, open. Yes. My That's sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the chorus though. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. No, they did for them. That was, that was they, pretty they, hard. Hey, there right. was like one song on it where there's like an African dude comes in. <laughs> Y'all holy, holy, y'all holy. Are we thinking of Creed? I don't yes, Creed I'm shit. telling you, dude. It's, really? It was, I was, dude, it got me going as a kid. I was sitting in the car on the road trip, my little CD player. It's like, hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, so like, and the band, like the guitarist, was fucking amazing, man. Right. Like he was, he was really good, like at writing riffs. Right. And that's why it got so big. But like the vocals are obnoxious. Yes. The yarling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but y'all all, all like fucking Pearl Jam. I don't know what y'all are talking. About. <laughs> dude, I, I don't like Pearl Jam. I, really I, I listen, dude, I listen to Pearl Jam, but I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be the that, first that's thing. A, that's, a, that's that's a split decision. Yeah, that's, a, that's a 50-50. But if I'll, you want to, yeah, if you want to divide, it's a ride or die, dude. Like. Yeah, listen, that I'll was the first thing it. I heard Yellow Lead Better when I was like yeah. 16 on What's the radio that? and Man. I was like what is that yeah. and I was like I want to learn how to on a wizard on a whale yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the thing I've never heard like someone sing, sing so much and take so few lyrics away from it I, <laughs> and if you come yeah exactly yeah. have you heard the mis- misheard lyrics yeah, yeah. that's fucking yeah. hilarious like a bad lip reading yeah, it'll, it'll, yeah exactly it'll fuck it up though you can't unhear it no dude on a wizard it's fucked up forever. A potato yeah. wave. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> on a wizard, on a whale, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and Nicole said no, something. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I think we've got a. I think we got a new project on our hands when we get back in the in the expedition for the ride home. Well, we. I mean, <laughs> half, half the time I forget my lyrics, so I'd like to that think is, that. Well, no, he doesn't. He's just, hope. He's just really I'd, I'd into like the music. That, yeah, there's, there's, there's hope Come there see our shows. Him. He won't forget the lyrics, I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> Crack! Uh, next, next and last question. Okay. Um, well, not the last question, but the, the last of the really goofy, ridiculous Ooh. ones. Um, you see Santa Claus in the mall. Naturally, you stand in line, Come and on. eventually you sit on his lap. Mm. He asks you what you want for Christmas. How do you reply? Um, this one's simple. I'll go ahead. Go for it. A Red Rider BB gun, please, sir. Fuck yeah, that's a good one. Shoot your eye out. God, God. Yeah. Oh, now well. none of y'all can answer with that shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That's a, that's a um, I want sense enough to not sit on an old guy's lap. <laughs> <laughs> At 24. Please don't yeah. make me do this again next year. That's when he gets a chubby and says, too fucking late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stocking stuffer. You know, jeez. Dump that. We can edit this, right? <laughs> I thought we were live. 
Uh, I'd probably, you know, just world peace and world hunger, all that bullshit. Mm. <laughs> all the bullshit. <laughs> okay. Small scale well, stuff. I, you know, I mean, I'm going to be guilty here and say that I, I could use another synth. I would ask Santa to synthesizer. Hand me, hand me anything. I mean, he could hand me a Rhodes keyboard, and I'd be like, "I appreciate you. I'd sit on your lap for longer if that like kept coming. <laughs> like if I kept getting play things. it while you're sitting on his lap. Absolutely. Maybe maybe Tina will listen to this before Christmas. What will he do for a Moog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's that's for him to ask while I'm on his lap. We can get to talking. All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, welcome to the show, guys. Thanks, um, man. We're happy to be, to be here. here. We're to be really, here. really, really dilly happy dilly. 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 Uh, dilly dilly. What's your names and what do you play? Uh, I'm Cole. Cole one or Cole A. Um, I play drums. <laughs> and Wrong. to my right is Cole B or Cole two. Yeah, I prefer Cole two, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I play uh, guitar. You gonna get off your phone and answer the question or? Oh uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, my name's Kyle Monty, and I play bass and sing. Cole, too, also sings. He just doesn't for... He's, uh, he didn't say that. So does Cole 1, but most of the time venues we play, they don't, you know, micing four guys. It's kind of hard. I'm Alex. Um, I sing. I play keyboard. Uh, guitar. Also guitar. Yeah. And, yeah. So you do all, all three? I'm a man. He's I'm a jack a, of all trades, man. man. He, you should see him. Indeed. You know? I do what I can. So is there not a lead singer, or y'all just take t- turns? We, we have a fifth passenger. Yeah, the fifth passenger. <laughs> oh, it's the lead that's singer. a whole can of worms. That's, no, but that's, we, yeah, that's for... we, we'd like to say we're like, you know, we just all kind of like, we have our songs. We all kind of throw what we have to the table, but we do it as a group. You know, I, yeah. yeah. He so sings, I on, sing. On the record. It seemed Alex like there wrote, wasn't a One Direct singer. Right, on yeah, the yeah. We There's are definitely, definitely not, not One Direct. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not one direction. No, yeah. basically, someone writes a song and brings it to the table, and that's kind of their song. We work it up, and that's generally who would sing lead on that song. Interesting. Yeah, and then we'll we'll run it a few times, get it get the structure down, and we'll be like, wow, oh, let's like I like what you did there. Let's run with that. Like if he throws a lick in it or something, or you know, that's Cole cool. Throws a just a half times at this one spot and it's just like all right you know it's yeah you know, it's wow a, the song a, actually might be kind of good yeah. I thought it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah it's i don't know i guess the definition of being a band i would guess is that yeah what you would say that's we, awesome we Are got you? we got kelly in the back over here she's uh she's our hype man right. nice just need one say hi kelly <laughs> say hi and then, hey, we're playing with a group called Den Mother. <laughs> I, I think I've seen Den Mother. Den Mother, they're they, crazy. They kick ass. Local, they're they're, they're local really. Huntsville boys. Too. Well, not born and raised, but they're, they're they live calling here. this home now. Yeah, they I'm, live here now. I'm you want to give them their sure. address? No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I went to like one of their earlier shows. This could be a different band, so. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was it was them. Like something happened with the guitar. Like like one of the strings broke, and they were like, fuck. Look. It's probably them. I mean, they they shred. They're very they're similar. Yeah. Like, they're kind of like well, a... I, I brought my Gibson like instantly because I'm two blocks away. And oh, I think nice. It, it may have been Den Mother. It may have been a different band. The guitarist but... has like real long hair. Uh, Dylan. He swings it around, man. He's you don't... Yeah. yeah. They're he very. Uh, you can tell that Mars Volta influence this yeah. kind of. Yeah, I think so. And they Animals just they just leaders. added singing now. They've got uh, their drummer is singing Anthony. now, and, and they have two guitarists now. Yes, and they've added another guitarist. They're. Very excited. And to play he plays with them keys tonight. too, I believe. Plug. Either way, man. Plug. Didn't plug. Mother, if you're in Huntsville, plug. Go see him. Like him on Facebook as a, along with us. Us first, though. Yeah. yeah it's, it's <laughs> and very important. This, the podcast first, you know, then us. There's a chain of command we got to follow here. Right, right. No, but we bounce shows Mother. off of them. Like, they, we piggyback to uh, the first. Uh, 12th Street Bar show last right. February. They they had us with them, and then we got a show in Dallas, and we were like, they were the people putting it on were looking for a spot to fill, and we were like, we got it, and we brought mm-hmm. them up to Dallas. So it's know. always good to make those yeah, connections. It, it really it's is. everything yeah. in the in the in the business. Yeah. So <clears throat> so I assume you've chosen your name according to the Bulvarian saints at the Palace of Nymphenburg that sacrificed small animals to the <laughs> goddess Shahim and instantly evolved the pineal gland, creating a physical third eye, right? Dude, our third eye. He, he third nailed eye. it. You Dude. nailed it. Is that on our Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> You're a crazy <laughs> specimen, my well, friend. I think, I Dude, think we no. ended there. He answered the I, I mean, 
Th- my third eye is wide open. It's been wide open ever since we were the Palisades. Oh. Was that sacrificing animals? <laughs> hey, bottle, bottle cap never lies. No, he, uh, Kyle Monty, bass player extraordinaire. Um, hey. He's the one who came up with the name. Um, um, he, he can tell you. It's, it's I mean, he, we he thought it looked cool, so we picked it. Yeah. yeah. That's, well, that, there's, there's, cool a, there's a little sounds. bit of a story to it. Um, so there's, there's this album, Mike Snow. And I believe the album is Mike Snow. And there's a song on it. I can't remember. I never can remember the name of the song. But like one of the opening... Smooth. Opening li- smooth, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Santana and Tom Rob, Rob Thomas. That's, Tom. that's EDM music, isn't it? Uh, Mike Snow? Yeah. No, nah, man. So he plays with the full band. Okay. It's like, well, it's kind of more on the poppy electronic side. Right, but right. I mean, it's... Dude, it's... It sounds familiar. Mike Snow, that I album is that. great, man. If there was a six disc, that one might slide in there because it's it's pretty good. Okay, okay. But it's a kind of a weird sound, but it hits you. It's like, man, I, it's a mix between electron. Well, not like yeah, wah, wah, yeah, yeah like your computer starting <laughs> up or something back in the nineties. Windows glitch. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Not, it's not like that. But I mean, it's like synth heavy, but sure. it's like drum bass, like groove, right. you know, with with groove, uh-huh. you know. So EDM's just a giant genre. Well, like EDM rock. to me is you like. Know. The Skrillex and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me press play and dance around Dump for step. you guys. Yeah, yeah. Let me raise the roof, if I may. There's, there's something there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the, the band. Uh, band. Yeah, so there's... <laughs> God, we got to keep him in. Yeah. Mike Snow. Sorry, bring right. me in, boys. I go wandering sometimes. Um, yeah, so this Mike Snow lyrics, he says, Palisades. Like, I guess it's like a community or like a neighborhood or something in California, right. or it also means like a fence. I think right, right. I looked it up. <laughs> deep. Yeah, it's very, very Fences, deep. Man. But I thought for the longest time, it was a misheard lyric. I thought he said Palace Saints, and I was like, I'm going to put that Sounds in my cool. back pocket. I was like, dude, that's cool. You yeah, know? yeah. But now, and like a few people have asked me that, and so I've kind of not constructed how I made it up or like I tell them that but now yeah. like the meaning I feel behind it is the music is the palace and like I like we said earlier right. so he brings a song in he brings a song in he brings a song in right. and that and then we surround ourselves you with that create music create the congregation and then we're yeah. the saints yeah. inside yeah. of the palace yeah. but the palace is around us and, which is the music and the guy talking Kyle and myself we, we grew up in a Catholic church yeah, not, so not to say we're you know, Catholic uh, but I mean, I'm speaking on mine. But I'm not uh, practicing we just really, you know, like that. That is, that's funny that that's how it came about. And he also was a tour manager for a band. Yeah, I also tour managed uh, a nationally band, nationally touring band. Yeah, New York to L.A. Bay Bay. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and I would go. I would see like festival posters and stuff, and I had that name, and I would read like five or six names, and then I'd throw Palace Saints in there, and then read five or six more names, and throw Palace Saints in there. I was like, man, that could look cool, and also like kind of catch your eye I guess right, in a way right. I, I don't know it just right. it's, know. A, it's it was, a, a f- like a concept yeah you know it's, I mean? it's, it's kind of like Portugal the man like their thing if you listen to John explain how he came up with that name it's about the band it's not one per- it's not exactly it's yeah. not Jimmy John and the Johnson boys band <laughs> like <laughs> Swamp Swimmers or something you know like something like that Swamp it's like Jimmy John's it's we're it's, it's the, not Palace Saints and them boys yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. we yeah. them boys yeah. 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 yeah shout out Des good game last week yeah I kind of <laughs> I have seven, my six, own ideas TV. about the name that I like but like I said, he came. Yeah, up I want to hear it. y'all's uh, well, idea. About I always it, think of it as like really talked about because I like to make things like kind of political because that's just a terrible thing to always do. Dick. But <laughs> 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 well, now, I'm, now I imagine it as trying to, trying I would almost like to do like a parody of because to me the palace saints are these are the people that are you know you've got the palace that's like the king the government and then you got the saints that's like the pope the religious leaders the, right. to me the Why palace gotta be the pope dude well i'm just giving well because that's a religious leader. <laughs> hey, hey man hey, back off sorry i'm sorry i'm just kidding dude go ahead i love the pope but um so i kind of see it <laughs> <laughs> he actually knows the pope has had a great guy he called me last week <laughs> me and him are cool man <laughs> <laughs> sorry god dog. no you're good, you're going, you're good. That's, that's i wonder what the pope would say to you Oh boy, he'd have a lot to say to he, me. He would, uh, but now to me, like a palace saint is the what's the right word? Like the pinnacle of the controlling figure in society because it's 
like the mixture of the religious control and also government control. Yeah. So like, I think it'd be really fun to kind of parody that yeah, a little man. bit. Right. That's just kind of like, it's like the people are the government. You right. know? It's, it's what yeah. makes it like mine is similar. Mine. I personally, I've got my own project. And I go by pen holder and pen holder, uh-huh. the one who writes history. Right. right. You know cool, what I mean? Man. So it's very similar in that aspect of, you know, Palestine. definitely, definitely. Yeah, well, That's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, Oh, what is it? Um, now that we're on the name, I do have to read something real quick that we uh, we wrote up. Um, <clears throat> this is interesting. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know where this, this came from, but <laughs> it's it's in here. It's in here. Uh, Technology. Uh, you know these things that you have in your hand and you can pull up anything? Yeah. It's what, crazy. The Oracle is what I like to call my phone. I'm going to console the Oracle. So, um, <laughs> 8-16-2015 at... 12 o'clock midnight, Palace Saints was born. Cole Means, Kyle Monty, Alex Paredes, and Cole Humphrey. Also on this date, William Johnston's wife died. Let that be known, only because she took a left turn. <laughs> it's not God, that was a weird night. That was a weird night. That was a random hey, guy. Have that, to explain? It was no, dude. Should we explain or just? I think, I think well, now we're fucking like we don't know <laughs> what the fuck. We didn't either, <laughs> like, dude. That, we, st- we still don't know. We can tell you what so happened, but we don't understand what happened. Give, give us your it, recollection yeah. of this. I, so we were drinking after a show at a campsite, and some guy walked up, no shirt, no shoes, just cargo shorts, a lake native, saying well, a lot yeah. of very crazy things and told us that his wife died because she took a left turn when she t- should have taken a right turn. The the night that we were like, we're Palace Saints, we had a crazy like interaction. Yeah, we yeah, like, had, these, we we like, had these deep conversations. We're in it, we're there now, and then... And he comes out of the <laughs> woods. Seriously, <laughs> out of the woods. Out of us and we're <laughs> like, we're man, this is at a lake, okay. And he just comes up and is like, talking to us. Hey, my wife died. And like we're like, when? And, and not only that, like no, today, no sequitur like, into that. Come on. And then like, Within two seconds, something else was yeah, like, I mean, like ob- we didn't even talk about that. He's on to some other topic. Obviously, so. we, the the likelihood of his wife taking a left turn. I mean, we, she probably died taking a right turn for all. I still knew. don't know what it I means. I don't think he even knew what. T- I don't. You know, <laughs> I have no I idea. I think she probably. Uh, I don't. I don't. Poor, poor lady. Rest in peace. If it was even real. Rest in peace. <laughs> rest so in I guess just don't turn left very yeah, much. Yeah, don't something. try it's not to turn left if you can. Yeah. Go, go if, straight. If you do or turn right. left, do it three times so you're going right. There you go. Like, like a Zoolander right type. That's thing. a that's a s- intelligent move. There you go. Boom. But um, yeah. I think his uh, there were some chemicals in his system. Yeah, I right, think, right. Because he was. I think, the, I think the mania was enhanced. He had some help. Maybe he had a left-handed cigarette. Oh, <laughs> it was a little more than that. <laughs> yeah, the left hand. Yeah. Just, anyway, that is. But left, yeah, was left-handed just, crack. He I told us know. that. There you go. Like I was documenting it Dude, on my phone. I was just like writing it down. Uh, you know, just taking note of it so I could we could have remember the actual date, like documentation. Do, yeah, so that was and now here it, here it is on a somewhat podcast. of the historian of the band. You wrote that the night it happened. Right? I wrote. We went back into Keegan's trailer and wrote it down. Shout I wrote out to it Keegan. down. Yeah, oh, Keegan yeah. Gentry out there. Went back in that trailer. Back Shoot. in that trailer, boy, would crack me open a nice bush light. <laughs> <laughs> bush light. So hey, <laughs> <No>. but, <laughs> I mean, I'll, Obviously, we're playing a show here tonight yeah. at 12th Street, Street Bar. 12th Street Bar. Love that place. Hey. What's a uh, what's Huntsville's music scene like? What's the what's the it's diverse? What, in what way do? Uh, here's here's the thing, man. Huntsville's weird because like there's a scene and then there's not a scene. Every ten years, there's something, right? Cool. You know, and for right now, it's kind of at a long period, but there's not that many bands. It's not it's not that big of a town. Yeah, but um. Some guys have already gone, uh, went to, you know, uh, L.A., you know, pursue their thing. And um, a, a lot of it's just kind of empty. Some people move around and uh, there's not like a scene. There's not a metal scene. There's not like a country scene. There's It's just a lot of diverse, mostly indie, really? like a lot of different kinds of things, which is great because like people work together, you know, like... Um, a lot of collaboration going on. A lot on of collaboration, them, yeah. but also everything's genuine. Mm-hmm. Nobody's ripping anybody off. <clears> and <throat> um, it's a, it's a, everybody gets along because nobody's stepping on each other's toes. Right. Yeah. There's no, you know? it's not. Yeah. But, you know, know. it's a very happy town. That That's the best way I'd describe uh, this town, just because everybody gets along so well. It's easy going and there's real, nobody wants to fucking feud. Right. You know what I mean? 
it, and how that's how it should, should be. be. Right. Yeah, it should be that way. And see, I'm from the metal world. I like metal music a lot, but like whenever it comes to metal scenes, I usually have noticed that it's a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. You know, in that aspect. Yeah. Know? But there's not really any metal bands, like metal bands around yeah. here. No, not not very many. We not, were back whenever we were rolling. But well, I guess yeah. it also probably goes along with the college being here. It kind of circulates like you'll have sure. a group and then they'll graduate and then disperse yeah. and you know that was it they did it for college that, or whatever. sure that early 20s ideology you know yeah. music like us right right speak for yourself so <laughs> I'm just kidding Sorry, Google, I'm, the, I'm the old man Google considers uh, you guys to be alternative indie but how would you guys best describe what your sound porn is? groove porn, porn groove. groove porn, porn groove. groove porn you groove. guys need to uh, message Google and let them know. <laughs> um, I think that's probably because we wrote it. Dear that on Google, there. I don't know. Or is it? How did you? What, I don't. Well, I don't what know. Is to, to me, it's like it, of, it's hard to classify yourself really because it's especially with music when you're trying to create something. It's it already it's hard to put yourself in a box from you know square one to think that your music is a certain way. And so to me, indie is like that's the cop out answer because indie can be anything. To me. <laughs> sure, so, sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's hard, really hard for me to put an exact tag on like, us but like, to some degree right. you can I mean you can put a tag on any band um, right we play I mean we play everything from bunk to rock to hip hop to like I can tell you what, I can tell you what we're album, though. Yeah. like mm-hmm. LCD is like is like all kinds of like I hear Stevie Ray Vaughan over here and then I hear you know like it's it's a mix of different things which is totally cool because but I you, feel like it's still cohesive at, you know, sure it's like it's, absolutely that's, that's honestly it's, one of my favorite porn things groups, man. It's porn about, groups man exactly, exactly. exactly get in where you fit in baby get in everybody likes the groove and everybody likes uh, yeah. anyway but uh, <laughs> this is this is to me is our rookie year layup you know you're just you know we're not trying to do anything fancy right yeah. you know we like these songs to us are what a couple of years old oh, I know shoot, personally some of them, my songs two years old maybe uh, it's a few of them well a lot of these songs were written before the band was a thing and and now okay. we're getting into an area where we're riding together, which is a whole new element in of itself. That's um, cool. Which is cool. It's it's cool to see from a growth perspective to look at the band and see. You yeah. Know, so like the, our our three or four minute songs, and the, I mean we all listen to Fish pretty heavily. Right. Right. And I'm not just saying like we're trying to be that. Is but Fish had a term? Like, I mean, yeah, a fish I head, I'm a fish yeah. head. You're, you're a, um, I mean, yeah, I mean you're, I'm, yeah, I think they kind of stay away from that because the they want to head. separate from the dead because yeah. there's dead heads and dead fish, head, didn't, fish, wanna, a fish didn't want to be of, like the you're dead. You're a fan with a pH. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You're a fan. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, subtle. There's other things that people <laughs> like, there's name calling, you know, in the industry. Like if you, uh, what's, you know, I don't want to say it, but I mean, look, you know, there, there's a lot of those people in the, it, it just, it's. Subculture. Like, like there's, a, again, there's a yeah, whole subculture. culture. There's, there's a, a whole, whole culture. culture. Wait, what is a wook? Oh, you're uh, right. Wook <laughs> is that guy when you're at a music festival who's got really long dreads and he doesn't have a shirt on. Specifically a fish Maybe festival. He's got like combat boots on. What, is it short for Wookie? Yeah. 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 It looks like he was a Wookie. Like yeah. 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 And like Real. he's the guy that might. Probably when you're at the show, he might go hit your tent and steal your shit. He might or, also like, like, not necessarily yeah. that. He's like well, one of those that like hops trains and stuff and pushes, does, pushes does, nitrous. Does. Is this like the yeah, hippie version not. of the N word? Is that what? <laughs> kind of, no, no, like, no, it no. doesn't have a bad connotation. Is that not a bad connotation? No, no, no I think I think it does have. A bad it does have a bad That's connotation in the sense that it's like dirty. So like Juggalo. No, well, no, well, Juggalo. I like being called Juggalo. Because Juggalo is kind of like, Juggalo. you're a Juggalo. No, right. see, okay, on, okay. on the fish scene, you try, like, real fans separate themselves from the, like, Wooks are kind of almost Wooks there, not just for the, they're not just they're there, there for the music, they they're kind of there to prey on the people. Drugs. They're looking for free drugs, free handouts, like. Free jobs. Yeah, they try to take advantage of you. <laughs> ZJ's to an extent. That's my ZJ. understanding of the. Of you gotta uh, ask. You don't. You, know. <laughs> if you don't know. What, if you don't know what it is, you can't afford it. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, we. I mean, we love fish. We love that. I mean, we love the community. Like I, we spent three fourths of this band spent a weekend camping out with this community. Is there a documentary on this? Because I saw the Juggalo one, and that oh, was dude. fucking cool. I'm sure yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's gonna there's be. A go to a few. show, you'll experience it in real life. I mean, there there's some. There, if you just tap in, like I don't want to fuck with them wooks though. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not that. Like, they're it's not that. that. It's they're great not really people bad. too. They're good. I think we and the community's the really good about taking care of each other. Okay, in the metal world, 
you know, like I'd say I've been, you know, Avenged Sevenfold fans. Whoop, you've whoop. got you've got the douche that's like running the mosh pit, oh, and he's yeah, just like yeah. there to fuck up everybody. Just there and to like, get some free hits on people or some shit. Yeah, is, there. That, is that a wook? No, 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 no. no. no okay. A wook's not gonna take. A wook's not gonna like <laughs> punch somebody. A, I mean, maybe anybody could punch somebody. We're getting out of our. Uh, Depth of field on what culture? No, it's yeah. all, there's probably you could probably write a whole. Because well, there's aren't probably wooks, so we don't really know. There's we just probably know what wooks. We've yeah, we're on the outside a, looking in. There's probably a wooks wooks in an event symbol concert. You know, there's those people okay, who are okay. just there. You know, yeah. we the best be way to tell it. is they look like a wookie. Yeah. There you go. You'll know. Do you think there's like that. a like a restaurant somewhere that serves something <laughs> called the wook nook? The wook nook. That would be good. Wook nook. Do they serve maple nut goodies? Of course they do. The wook knuckle. Maple book knuckles. Uh, <laughs> we are off topic. Yeah. We are off anyway, topic. Anyway, so we've matured as a band, so we're on our first album of four minutes long. <laughs> and we could turn into now. We've kind of put more, we've gotten more, uh, I don't want to say musical, but we take, we're better. We take avenues. Sure. And then come, I guess jam, if you want to use yeah. that word. That's, Some, how, that's how fish got thrown so in the So you're a jam band? I'm, we're slow. I we're think working towards it. We, not, we don't. We don't want to be. I don't want to be. We don't want to be a jam band. We don't want to be labeled a jam band. Do. But if we go off on a 16 minute song, like that's, we got that lost happens. in it. Even that happened to us well, last night. We just don't want to. Like it's this weird balance of I don't want to play the same show every night, note sure. for note, because that's as a musician, that's not how I get my kicks. Do you guys have the signals? There are signals. There are those looks like what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, where, okay, okay. where well, are you? Last night, last night it's me called and a him, me, me, <laughs> Alex, Alex and I were looking at Cole Means, and he just like started speeding up at the end of this. Thing. And Humphrey's like, he's out of it. He's straight just soloing, and me and Alex are just holding down the groove and looking at Means, and he's just slowly just barreling through this thing and, and it like, sounded badass it sounded great uh, no, it was awesome ass. it was awesome no, so, no, no, but, so on, mean, on y'all shows y'all y'all go out of y'all's normal writing pattern y'all, yeah. like, y'all we get out of our comfort absolutely. zone definitely. and there there are certain you don't songs get that it's... are gonna like they're gonna be some improv that takes place dude that's cool and it may this song may be you know five minutes tonight and it may be ten minutes in right. the next show we play which right. is fun as a musician because it's sure you like, know like we're pl- we're playing two sets tonight. Um, we have already discussed the fact that we're going to play two sets, one wow. set. It's going to be our album run through, just running through. But that doesn't to us necessarily mean that we're running it. That's one a that's through fish nine. tank brazier, right? Fish tank <laughs> brazier. <laughs> fish tank brazier. No yeah. fish tank. Fish tank brazers. Fish tank <laughs> bazaar. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't so know what that is. Fish Tank oh, Bazaar, we, we we did it. It took us, what, nine, ten months of just... I think it is closer to ten months. Too long. It took us a long time. Long. Great time. Too but it long. was a learning experience, too. Definitely. Because I know, for me personally, I had no experience with... You know, I had recorded music on my own with some stuff, but not like in a studio setting, and also coordinating three other people in their parts. That was a whole... I feel like if we were to redo it, it we'd knock crazy. it out in half the time. Oh, absolutely. Least. But it, at the same time, Fish Tank Bazaar, like I said, it's our rookie layup. I think we put it through, finger rolled it in. Sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Shout out um, Jay and Rick. Liberty at, Grove Studio. Liberty Grove Studios. Great guys. Great guys. Rowlett, Texas. Th- those are our guys. Those are the guys that make this record sound what we what we listen to. We'll De- definitely we'll good like, pro- so. pro- production for Thank sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, they, sounded great. Those guys know what they're doing for sure. And and, and even on that, it's funny. On the record, I, I started playing guitar for the um, keys for the band probably what halfway through recording it. So like mm, even halfway yeah, through, we just started yeah. throwing it in there. I don't and, even think you were like playing live keys though, like no, until no, after that one was yeah. done. So like that's a whole dynamic right there that didn't even exist when we made the album. Yeah. How long have you guys been playing together? Um, this is go. This is two years, two years. going on three. How'd, how'd y'all get together? <laughs> we are all from <laughs> Grand Saline, Texas, a uh, town of about three thousand people. Home of Molten um, Salt. All went to the same <laughs> high school. We weren't really. I know y'all were pretty close in high school, right? 
Me and the me and Cole me and Cole A were pretty good friends. Yeah. Because I know I didn't really hang out with any of these guys yeah. until after high school, which is really funny. But I went to church with Kyle. What up, baby? Yeah. But yes. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> flashback. <laughs> what was that, Alex? Me <laughs> and Alex went to college together, and then down in had, Waco. Yeah, down in Waco, and he had recently started playing guitar, just a few chords here and there, and he had to read tabs. We started jamming together. We knew like eight songs. We were like. A Vince Sevenfold song. Yeah, Vince Sevenfold song. Nice. Like, yeah. Fuck it, let's go play at a restaurant. And then we did that a few times. Then we were like, hey, this dude knows how to play guitar. He's pretty good. We were like, we don't have a drummer, though. And then I was like, well, I did percussion in high school, so I'll, I'll play drums, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, the, but the thing is, we all you know went to our school, less than two, 300 kids total. We all knew each other. Our, we all my graduating there. class was 70 people. We had 69. Was 60. We had 69. Like, like just looking at you guys and seeing how you guys, you know, talk and communicate and then talking about the small town. Like, you guys are like the reincarnation of uh, the Dazed and Confused characters for sure. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Freaky shit on a hey, dollar man. bill, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Martha Washington was a cool lady. Now, I don't know if you guys know this. But uh, that story from Days and Confused, yeah, yeah. Uh, those guys that it's based off of, right here in Huntsville. Really? Yeah. I know it was. I, I know no it was based idea. around like a like an outskirts of Al, uh, of Austin, Austin town, Huntsville, so. Texas. Is that where it's based off? Like yes. Where, what the? That is so cool. That's nice, right. dude. So I've 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 met at least one of the guys that it was based off of. Cool. Hey. Yeah. He was Slater. Awesome. I don't Slater? Know. Slater's not. <laughs> 930, what are their real names, though? But yeah. 930, man. Kegger got moved, man. I need to get those guys on the show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, when you do, hit me up, and I just want to be a fly on the wall over yeah. there. I, I won't say anything. I just want to drink beer and watch the this conversation of, the go down. The beauty of a podcast. Everybody is a fucking fly exactly. on the wall. Exactly. You know? yep. exactly. A lot of people oh, yeah. here right now that you can't see, man. Not yet. Because they're in the, you know. Ether. The, the, yeah, the media <laughs> ether. Dude. Yeah, man. But yeah, they were, they're they're all a little closer in age. I mean, we went yeah. to church together, Alex and I did. Right. And but I'm a little bit older. <laughs> I know. Uh, but I knew him through a buddy of mine, Kelly Wayne. Okay. And he played guitar with. Shout out Kelly Wayne. Uh, Cole Kelly here. Wayne. Cole B. Cole 2. Cole yeah. 2. Cole C. I think we agreed on 2. Yeah. Okay. See, when, in our band, when we had the Nikos. Um, we had Nico one and Nico a mm -hmm. that way. Everybody's first. Oh, oh that's, wow. that's not so, the case here. We, that's yeah. great. Well, we, <laughs> what, what awesome respect for your bandmates. Yeah, that's man. A beautiful. For thing. sure. Uh, Fuck that. Nico, Nico, <laughs> Nico one was not down with that bullshit at all. And it didn't stand, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I usually just go last names. I'll say Humphrey. Did y'all say y'all were a band? Yeah. Are y'all a band still? Oh, well, I mean, I was I was in a band. Okay, uh, I was with, wondering if the with two the co-host that's not here right now. Well, I was wondering if there was like a power struggle between the Nikos. Like there, there can only be one Nico. They're exactly words from his mouth. Whoa! Oh, there can him. only be one there Nico. There can only be one Nico. Whoa. That's awesome. This that, man's only got room. Nico number two changed Nico. back to Nikolai. Some real Highlander quick. shit. Real quick. <laughs> Nico, I, I think I like that better than Nico. To be honest with you. Don't tell Nico that. Don't tell oh, Nico that. Oh shoot. Nico's he might be here. He lives that. here. Yeah. Nico's, <laughs> the fact that y'all had two Nikos, that's, a yeah, cra that's, that's crazy. The odds of, you know, two, that's, a, that's a good name. But you guys got the double coals, man. Same that's thing. Right. Hey. Coal squared. Mm -hmm. The coalition. Coalition. <laughs> that's right. That's right. If we're playing pool or Why something. Why the fuck are y'all not named the coalition? Hey, man. Man, that would be fucking well, awesome. Hey, man. Forgetting about Kyle and Alex yeah, over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Priorities. The Kalalex. Coalition. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. Smooth. <laughs> Just don't try. Rocks. Don't try spelling it. But. Yeah. Rolls right the fuck off the tongue. Man. <laughs> don't try spelling yeah. it. You guys are great, man. Yeah. What, what brings y'all to Huntsville? Twelfth Street Bar. Just, yeah. yeah the Bar. Mother, how'd y'all get connected with Twelfth Street Bar? So uh, that comes through. Uh, so Den Mother's bass player, one, the mother yeah, of Den. I'll, I'll field this one. Yeah, the mother of Den. Now, uh, the bass player is Alec Martinez for Den Mother, and I grew up, up. He's also from Grand Saline, and we grew up together. And so, same small town. Go off to yeah. school years down the road. He hits me up and he's like, "Man, I'm in a band now. Like, I know y'all play." Like, they we, formed in prison. 
Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. Fact check. If you call the college a prison, Man, that's, you're thinking of pin, pin mother. That's, pin that's mother. Totally, different, totally different bands. Um, but no, he. <laughs> like, like a penitentiary, right? Correct? We got it. Man, you're so no. funny. You're so funny, man. You're so goddamn funny. I don't, I don't even. I don't get it. But anyway. Uh, no, they needed a slot fill at 12th Street, and he knew we were in a band. They had a band, so they just asked us to come down, and, you know, we're always hungry for gigs. So we're like, fuck yeah, we'll be there. What time? And this is our... 9.30 a.m. And, and we yeah. know... And like I, we had childhood friends that go to school here, now Sam Houston. Oh, cool. And, and so when we were like, oh, we might know some people who would show up, you know? Sure. We had a fun time. 12th Street packed it up, like, last time we were there. We Are they, like, they going to be there today? I would assume potential. I, mean, I haven't spread the word, but I mean, I would assume. Yeah, we like, got a few people coming. It's it's we'll a tough drive. We'll, we'll have man. it full. It's gonna be a fun night. A fun That's night awesome. But Al did do. He's the wizard when it comes to the Facebook post promotion Prost. side. Post promotion. Prost. I know. Prost. Prost to say. Prost. <laughs> but uh, he works that angle, and man. Our stuff jumped. Did you know? And it's it was like I was surprised. So I think there might be a, quite a few people out there tonight. Did y'all know That's that good. stuff on Facebook where if if you're having a conversation with your friend in front of your phone or maybe you're texting your friend about let's say an object, uh, dog food, you keep All talking about it. If you go to your Facebook phone, you're gonna see you know you're, you're on your phone you know on Facebook. Yeah, you're gonna see a dog listening, food ad, right? Yeah, sure. man. Yeah, yeah. You allow As them access to your microphone, dude. But that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like the human centipede, man. Terms. So we're goodness. trying to do the same thing for you know our Facebook page and the people around. You know, like they yeah. just yeah. they start talking about segue. Yeah, man. We're just uh, <laughs> we're just a rock and roll band trying to get our name out there and sell some records and. Eat food. Fish Tank beer. Bazaar. Fish yeah. Tank Bazaar. It's on everywhere. It's everywhere online. Plug. I found it on Spotify. You, you did? Go. I listened to it on Spotify. Nice. Yeah. Yep, you. for your premium users. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, iTunes, Apple Music. I mean, same thing. Maybe not. Uh, Google Play. All those places where you normally find it. iHeartRadio. YouTube. What did y'all use to, to uh, distribute it? <clears throat> we used TuneCore. TuneCore. Um, great. Easy, I mean, just easy one two punch, you know. For sure, for you don't, sure. we don't, we're trying to look for the most minimal way to get our music out there, yeah. And this is the way to put it out there to everybody we could. And I mean, not just the fact that like my mom bought the record, his mom bought the record, our mom's bought no, the record, all of our moms, my mom still has a flip phone, my she doesn't know how to, record. she doesn't have iTunes on her phone, she's got well, to get that physical copy, I know, right? I know, for your mama. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> she's got, she's got the only vinyl pressing of it. I'm just kidding, there's not one. Y'all gonna get one though? I yeah, would love. Hopefully. I would love for this to be Someday. on vinyl. Yeah. Someday I'm we're a just big vinyl collector. Yeah, you, you know, gotta get all the hipsters with their hipster glasses to pull out. You know, blow off the old vinyl machine <laughs> and uh, pour you know, Yeah, drink some, drink some craft beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to listen to Wilco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and Wilco's a good band, man. I love, we'll love Wilco. Wilco, but come oh, on, a man. Hell of a show, man. The odds of you listening to like Jack White right after. You know, drinking a dark craft beer. Yeah, I think was they go, they go up by like fifty percent. I think the was fat, it an IPA? Yeah. The moment you drink, if you drink an IPA, then you're definitely listening to Jack White or White Stripes afterwards. That's, that's, I think that science is proven. So, gotta ask you guys, like, what um, what other instruments do you jam on individually? You know, like you may not jam in the band, but like at home, you've got you like to jam on this. What 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 do you like to jam on? Um, me and the other Cole, what were we in? We're kind of a step up above the other guys. We're classically <laughs> trained. Right, right. Piano, not like yeah. these uncultured yeah. swine. Yeah. Wow. They're, but oh, I'm uncultured means, swine for sure. Thanks, means. I appreciate it. It don't matter. <laughs> I wrote a lot of match on a piano. My fingers do better work than yours. But, uh, That's why there's like two chords, right? I'm just kidding. Oh, that's, that's our whole album is two chords. We go through one and two. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. No, but whenever whenever you play a C, what's the chord you got to you know play G back to a C? And why not just write the whole album? Maybe it's yeah, man. But yes, Wait, on, a, on a serious note, we're none of us are that great. We're all okay, Amateurs. but at at home, I like to play. Uh, I was actually started out on piano. I took piano lessons when I was a kid, and then I realized guitar is like really cool, and piano sucks because I can't <laughs> I can't carry a piano to the park or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of the 
the function of it was what drove me to the guitar and also it's really fun to play it's yeah a lot more confusing though. it is cooler yeah and it, it is, is cooler. cooler yeah Chick, uh, no i won't go down that road <laughs> he's gonna uh, say oh. yeah, no. <laughs> dump that dump that but uh <laughs> I also have I also have a nose flute that I play, and that's a real uh, thing. It's uh, like a mouthpiece that fits over your nose. It's hard as shit to play. No, it's not. You just have to have any sort of musicality in your body. Back wow. to back to uh, what we were talking about. Just kidding. So do you also play the skin flute? Oh, hey. I'm oh, waiting for it. I, right. He did it. Yeah, when did when it. no one there. else will play it for me, Shout I guess little little. you resorted to Pamela Henderson and him go back and do a duet. Oh, yeah. that's strange. But <laughs> now I got the nose flute, piano, um, and guitar. And then, I mean, whatever I can get my hands on, I try to play. I got a mandolin and a violin. Violin, I, I bought it, and I don't know why now. That's it's like a beastly the, That's bitch. like the hardest instrument. We got like is. three violins and no bows. Really? Yeah. Like, really, it's like ukulele? Or? No, I just don't play it. Just don't play it. <laughs> that's the easy remedy. I don't fucking See, I've got it. a bow, and I still don't play mine. So uh, that's yeah. They're complicated. A mandolin sounds like it would be fun. Yeah, a mandolin is really cool, and it's got frets, which is really cool. And oh, yeah. It was, yeah, that's why. A violin. Well, well, well violin doesn't. <laughs> no, it just exactly. sucks. Where the fuck am I, dude? And yeah. That's not even the hard part. It's the bowing that gets me. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, is, and we, it, it sounds like a cat. We'll, we'll skip Kyle. He barely knows how to play bass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Wow. Really if, if you could see his face right now. <laughs> what kind of bass do you play? Uh, Fender Jazz five string. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a good one. Five string. Seventy two remake. Hey, talk, talk to him nice. about your. Uh... Oh the yeah, I just recently purchased and I dan the the cool thing about this Plug. is I uh, jam on it. It's a little Korg ribbon delay monotron synthesizer, and it's like literally the size of a little calculator. And that's it, cool. And it's got a built-in speaker, but it's also got an aux out. Right, right, right. And so I, so I just plug it in. I've got an aux in on my bass head, and I'll just plug it in there so I can play it through that. Right. But you can unplug it, and you can just, hell, I could go get it right now and just play around on that it. That sounds it's, like fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, you can definitely get lost in it really, really yeah. quick, because not only because of the, the sounds it makes, but figuring out how to mess with the cutoff and the delay and the time and the it just man it'll yeah. send you to another place <laughs> that's the thing about synthesizers yeah. man they teach you all kinds of things about like the attack and the sustain yeah, definitely, and, definitely. and it, it's it's uh teach you it how to be dynamic whole, yeah, things yeah. i never even had a word for before so <laughs> right like, and it yeah. was like yeah well that'll cut off at that you know a certain amount of time you know and you don't yeah. you don't have the words but when you start to figure out a fucking synthesizer Man, it blows your fucking mind. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like, damn. I would, I, you can hear what you want it to do in your head, but it's just like you have to do the series of turning of knobs to make it sound like that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. ah, there it is. And then it, you got to remember how to do it. But sometimes <laughs> I stumble across it. I'm like, damn, remember. how did I do that? I wasn't paying attention. That's why you record. That's why you record yeah, well, everything. Well, I, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I can record it, but that's hearing it. Like I wanted yeah. to in my head, but I don't remember which yeah. one I was on. I was just going in. I was like, oh. I'll fucking I'll record like okay, I'm on this key and this key. Like I'll say it in into whatever. Oh well, it's recording. a ribbon. It's like a you use your finger, you just slide yeah, across it's like, it. It's, oh, it's shit. like the size of your cell phone. It, yeah, dude, it's like literally like a tiny calculator, pocket right. size. Like it it'll fit. In I, your back I think pocket. I've seen them, man. Yeah, it's cool. That's what, fifty that's bucks. Cool. Fifty bucks, man. What? Free shipping. Go get one. We're yeah. not sponsored by them, but we're sponsored by them. Yeah, Korg. We hey, are willing if you're to listening sponsor. to this, anybody from Korg, uh, <coughs> holla at you boys. We like your shit. The Conversationalist Podcast specifically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holler, yes. holler at, holler at yeah. all yeah. the boys. Holler at them, and they'll, they'll get with our people. Our people will get with their people, and your people can get with their people. <laughs> so you guys are writing different... Um, Different track. Well, I actually skipped you, didn't I? What do you play? You play all kinds of things. Man. He plays I, enough as it I'll is. I'll play, yeah. I like. I go home, I mess with drum machines. Yeah. Kind of just play hip-hop stuff outside of these guys. Right, right. That's what I do. You ever played with one of those, the XR20? I, I, you hit them earlier. No, I played one at Guitar Center, yes, but yeah. never have I sat there for a while. And played one, but. It's fun. There's a whole, all kinds of shit on it. I upgraded. Looks like it would be awesome. Yeah. I have this... Um, yeah, I don't even want to talk about my drum machine. I just play drum machines on my little MIDI keyboard most of the time. Yeah. You know, play my little loops, do my little thing. Sure. But no, hey, uh, we all just we all just do our thing. Well, what program are you rocking? Man, I just run my stuff out of my laptop. GarageBand. 
we play stuff when we record through Pro Tools as a band through everything, but. Well, just, I'll tell you what, man. Garage, garage Band up their game. Dude, they do whatever. Their game I really have on. Pro Tools, and now I just, for what I want to do, I exclusively use, use Garage Band. I 100% understand that, yes. man, because there are some, there's some shit that's over my head. Like right. Pro Tools, and even like, uh, what is it? Um, starts with an A, shit. Oh, uh, I know exactly what you're Starts talking. with an uh, A? A, yeah. Audacity. Yeah. Audacity. No, 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 Audacity. no that's not Audacity. Uh, the really good, the expensive one is what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, Audacity is legitimately free. Uh, <laughs> no, that's the only one yeah, I know. Really. Really. No, uh, I, I, I like Ableton. Ableton. Able, it is Ableton. It is Ableton, Ableton to a big me, hip-hop. is a, a, big is a, is a top... Like over my head, yeah, hard to you, understand. You damn near shit. have to have a college degree to even yeah, open yeah, that program. Giant fucking textbook, yeah, you know. And I just I can't wrap my head around it. Um, I use a pro like a an app on my phone called Caustic, mm-hmm. and it's been a fucking game changer for me. It was cheap as hell. I never heard of it. Caustic? Your phone? Yeah, for 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 my Android. I think they also yeah. have it for iTunes. But like it, it's free. But the key is like eight ninety nine. Yeah. Like, you, so you can download it and do everything you need to. You just can't save or export till you buy the key. So you at least hey, know hey, that yeah. you want it. Right. You know, it's fucking awesome. But it's got, like, drum machines and synthesizers and, like, uh, uh, you know, basically you can set it up to where what goes when. And it's it's insane. Cool. Man, it's called Caustic? Caustic. Check That's it awesome. Out. Yeah, I'm going to have to look like, it up. The thing with recording to me is like it's in the moment. Like, you know, what you're doing right there. Like, a lot of the time right. when I record, it's not I'm thinking of this progression or thinking of these lyrics. Right. It's just happening. So, to just get something and pull it up so right. I can record right then and there. Exactly. That's what I like. And that's why I use Garage Man. That's why, that's why I, that's I got the drum saying. machine. And that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I got the drum machine because, I, you know, sometimes I'm feeling something. I need to put it down now or I'm going to fucking lose it. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. Especially in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get something great in my head in the shower and then I'm like, son of a yeah. bitch. I've noticed that my drum machine does not work very well in the shower. <laughs> no, I'm thinking we put those together. Maybe they should get a shower uh something. We need to we need to look into waterproofing some stuff and Do y'all yeah. jam in the shower quite a bit? That's the together? only way that's the only way we this is the only way we start our jams yeah. in the shower. We start off where it ends uh, up we go we go we get it steaming hot and we get it in there. Take a few poppers first. Dance around for a little bit, and then turn it ice cold, and then run straight into the jam room and whatever comes out, and that's where we get our stuff from. That sounds terrifying. It yeah, that well, it puts. You, well, that's where the good. That's where the good stuff comes from is when you're terrified. That's that's a takeaway statement right there. That's where Thank the good you. stuff comes from. So, what would you say the album? Um, uh, fish tank brazier. Um, <laughs> does it does it have a specific um, a concept behind the whole thing? I know you guys said that y'all all wrote different parts, but is there any constant like vibe? Look at um, well, not for the vibe, but to answer fish tank bazaar, it was song uh, the track on there, track number eight, window pane. You know, whenever the movies mention the title of the movie right. in the movie, we do the same thing. Right. But so there's a little the, Easter egg in there. But the name came after, and it's just kind of like it's a weird, like we're like imagine you know you're looking into a fish tank. What are the you know? Well, and also a bazaar. What's going is on? Like a collection you? of different, like if you like a it could Oddities be like a market. You know, like you're going yeah. to the bazaar. Sure. It's like a you're perusing, like a trade show, I guess. Yeah, you're perusing our booths songs. and stuff. So that I guess that's kind of where. It, and we were at a bar, and imagine all the people walking up to this little fish tank with this little goldfish in front of it. Imagine this the little goldfish just from. like looking at all the different people, like who? That, right. that goldfish. That's not really it, but but well, concept, <laughs> conceptually, that's what I'm saying. Conceptually, I, I, I would say there isn't really a concept behind the whole album. <laughs> Any concept comes after the fact. Say yeah. that. <laughs> conceptually, I would say that the concept. <laughs> There's is. none. It's not No, because well, a lot of the, like I said earlier, a lot of these songs came from they were written in periods when the band wasn't even a thing. Right. So like, as there being like one cohesive work, like you know, like kind of like Arcade Fire does, where it's like a whole everything works off each other. I don't know if there's like a storyline or some sort of narrative that exists within it, but sure, you can you can find yeah. something well, like a, anything. It. I mean, it sounds right. 
is what is what I have to say. Like that's it may what, not that's what's up. May not have a very specific story to it, but like the the truth is is like with like the album cover, which is a great album cover. Was it a photograph when you guys did or yeah, Well, so the fish tank actually we played at a venue called the Crown and Heart. Rest in peace. RIP. I think his name was Larry, isn't like that? The, the fish? fish? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I yeah, I just there was a. Did where you just we were rest in peace for the fish? <laughs> yeah, dude. No, the, the, the venue. Well, the venue. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the fish uh, is alive. All right. Sure well, the crown and heart closed down, but I don't. I want to know what happened to that fish. Because literally, we were like, there was a fish tank right there. The little fish was chilling in the fish tank where we were, like, where you would lo- load your gear in and, right, like, right. stage it, like, your cases and stuff when you're on stage. And I, like, after the show, I was like, man, this fish is like, he's feeling it. Like, something's going on with this fish. And I don't know. I just took a picture of it. Yeah. And then I went and edited it. And that's kind of how it turned out. He, he just saw a pretty fish and took I'm a sure, picture of it. Dude. I'm <laughs> sure he's floating in the sewer somewhere. Oh, man. I hope not, man. He probably got ate by a bigger goldfish. I hope he's in the big fo- fish bowl in the sky listening to Jerry Garcia somewhere. There somewhere you like go. That. Hanging out with Jerry Garcia at that point. I mean, if him and Jerry Garcia, oh, like, if Jerry just came down and was, like, jumped in that. Fish is fishbowl out there somewhere, wherever you go. <laughs> oh, here we go. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. R.I.P. Larry. I don't R. know R. if that was Larry. his name, but that's what I named Hey, him. he's I'm immortalized sorry. on our album cover Yes, now. thank you. Thank you for... And now through the podcast. Back back to the real story. Um, <laughs> what, If you had to choose a favorite song on this album, what would you go with? means um i probably do uh i don't know window pane was always my favorite it is a fun one to play awesome yeah window pane's amazing um go on the <laughs> <laughs> that was cold too who wrote window pane um I thought it was colby <laughs> that's a whole new name colby jack colby true who, who sings it <laughs> Who sings Window Pink? That's me. That's, That's one of the ones. Well, actually, I we all in. sing it. Well, yeah, and, oh. and yeah, we but sing, sing backup. Yeah, I, he's the lead vocal, I guess you'd say. We back up on it. Yeah, I, I would vote. Um, shit, man. I would vote Window Pink. That's not a song. Shit, man. I would vote Window Pink. But then the stuff we have coming on our sophomore album, I would vote all of that over this. Yeah, same. Nice. Um, I want to hear that for sure. Man, You'll hear it first. We're um, working it up. We're working it up. For me. I really, I really, really enjoy playing "Hardly Working." It's nice. Like, it's a slower one. It's an emotional one. Yeah. But man, dude, I, there was something about recording that song when we were playing it, tracking it. I was like, mm, "Baby, yeah. it just felt right." You guys are definitely rocking the slower songs. Yeah. Well, sure. I mean, to me, when I listened back record. to it, I was like, "Man, there's some like, there's some like B side." Zeppelin vibe to that yeah, song. Yeah. If you really dig into it, I thought it was a sleeper on the record, but it's for me playing it and listening to it. I really enjoy that one. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. It's it's all really good. I have to say my favorite is probably Window Pane too. Yeah, like, really? <laughs> yeah I, that's good job. Definitely all around. See, I think I think my favorite is uh, especially just like from a listening perspective, not just playing. Would be Dark Nights is probably my favorite because just the lyrical content of it and everything. I just I really relate with that song a lot. I, I, right. It's I like that song a lot, a lot. We love the mountains. Yeah, love the mountains. As being. There's another one that I, I really uh, connected with. I forgot what it was called. Um, Do we need to sing them all for you really quick? <laughs> it was. Uh, I so, lied, a man. It's like uh, trying to figure out a girl or what she what who she is or who are you or oh, who are thrilling. you? Yeah. What song is that? That's far more thrilling. Far yeah. more thrilling. That's another, Dark Nights and Far More Thrilling are both I Kyle's was, songs. I was connecting with that one. Cool, yeah. man. Nice. For sure. Did you ever find out who she was? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think that was more of like a... It's an open I knew, question. I knew you, but the who'd you turn into? Like, who are who, you? Who are you? Who yeah. the hell are you? Like, who the fuck <laughs> did she turn into? Did you ever find out that? No, thank God. Oh, bitch. Oh, good, man. <laughs> dump that. Yeah. Yeah. Dump, dump that. <laughs> Stay away from those... Uh, no, yeah, I don't. Women's. I don't really remember where or what was going on when I wrote that one. That was an old one. Right. Probably old repressed old. it. It's probably like buried in there. You know, it's good. Whole Better. Album. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Good that. track. Thank you. Uh, whole album's great. Thank you, man. Uh, you guys uh, have anything to say about this next album? Just know <laughs> when it comes out, shit's gonna be great. 
It's gonna be it's gonna be like a Herbie Hancock good. headhunters like four songs, but it's fifty minutes long. <laughs> oh, I mean, we love music and we love making our music and we don't do anything. We don't do anybody else's music. I you know, when we come in there we don't have anybody else's pick you know, we talk about fish, we talk about all these other guys, but I know for a fact when we're in the room playing together, nobody else is t- thanking you. I, I haven't else. heard anything that sounds like you guys. So it's very individual. Awesome. Of course, every song is very different. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. But there's no, like, I couldn't, like, usually it's my my knack. Like, my thing is, yeah. is easily taking a band. It's like, okay, you kind of sound like Incubus. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. g- go in there, try to find right. what they sound like. But you guys, man, you I, y'all threw me for a loop. Awesome, man. We That's hope good. to keep throwing for loops. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and there's nothing I respect more than a new thing. You know what I mean? A creation of something instead of a ripoff, which technically everything's a little ripoff over oh, here. Yeah, exactly. Little, seven little, exactly. But originality. Well, originality well. is my favorite <laughs> thing. I like weird music, but I like weird music because I like originality. Yeah, something right. You like right. the reason it's weird. Absolutely. So, um... Uh, I want to ask you guys: Do you have any uh, shows other than tonight? Because our listeners, they're it's going to be probably Wednesday whenever this comes out. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do you guys Mine? have any other shows? Um, January. Ooh, <laughs> Jan- uh, Jan- Jan- <laughs> January. January twelfth. Twelfth. We are going to be playing at the Mohawk in Mohawk. Austin. So that's gonna great be a venue. Little, yeah, I love that place. Playing I, with I, the Herald. And Astrotech and Astrotech, we played with them last night. Fort Worth in Fort Worth, cool guys, great guys, great music. Go check them out. And then, other than that, we're taking the holidays off. Yeah, we're kind of gearing up for this next uh, next record, so we're kind of hunkering down, woodshedding it, working some stuff out. Nice. Which playing shows is good, great for that too. Like, don't get me wrong, but we're kind of getting in that mindset of let's, you know. Get yeah. in there and start writing well, and just getting prepared for with, just so we can have be focused on that totally instead of right. Well, with, gigs. with the the last album, before we started recording, we were trying to play as many shows as possible. And then when we were working on the album, you know, you kind of that takes most of your attention. And so now we're kind of like it's that same process is kind of starting to happen again a little bit. We're trying to play shows, but also putting some of our because we all have jobs. It's you know, sure. you have to make time for this stuff. So now I think a lot of the attention starting to go towards working up new music right. is kind of where I think we're at. Yeah, yeah so we're kind of in the jam writing. I guess there's some, there's some usually when we go to practice, Yeah. Um, like the first 15 minutes, like somebody will, will just all get in there, tune up, and somebody who is ever ready first or just somebody will lay something down. Yeah. And then we all just like, all right. Let's to me, kinda... that's what is fun about. That's yeah, like, we that's will, why we I will play wobble music. our way through, and then we get to something that we're like, holy shit, man! That's a mark this from a minute and a half to two and a half minutes. Like, all right, there, you know, yeah. let's take that piece and work on that. And so. if we're, and if we're dancing, we're moving around. Oh, for, yeah, that's, we our, always, that's our goal. We, like, we, we just practice be, like we play, man. We're, we want we boogie to around. Too. We like to dance on stage and, in the practice room. For. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. Is there any any shout outs you guys want to you know anybody you want to plug? Shout out to the conversationalists. Yeah, He's, thanks for having us, great. guys. This was thank awesome. you, man. This was fun. Thank you. Yes. Uh, shout out to Huntsville. We do, we do have another show that I forgot to mention, and you said this is hopefully going to be out on Wednesday. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So if anybody wants to make the trek to uh, Denton, Texas, come see UNT. It'll be fun. Yeah, we're gonna play at um, what's the address? Uh, four four ten normal street. Four ten normal street. In Denton, Texas. And it could Denton, not Texas. be the furthest thing from normal. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. It's a house party. It's our buddy and his college roommates. Let's see, Josser, Jake, Colton, Colton Dean. And Dean. Dean. If you could just, you know, give out his address real quick. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> we, already, we already did. We, we, did. Well, we did. just did. Yeah, we just did. If you hear this, four please fifteen. Come. Yeah. Come. Four ten normal it's street. 415. Denton, Texas. Right. Four fifteen. Oh, four fifteen. That's it. It's on Normal Street. It's the corner house. Dude, it's go to Howdy, There'll be a go freaking to Howdy live Duty. band playing. Go to Howdy Duty. Look it up. Howdy Duty's on Google. You can find Howdy Duty and then just literally walk in the backyard of Howdy Duty and you're there. I'm pretty sure most of our listeners are going to take the four-hour trip. Come oh, on dude. down. Hey, I'm telling up. you, there's plenty of room. We got you cold bring beer. a tent. 
<laughs> and crash in the backyard. It's we're gonna have a we're gonna have ourselves a little throwdown. All right. I'd also like to plug. Uh, when when is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, December eighth next weekend. Yeah, next, okay. Next. Friday. I know it's kind of quick, but hey, man, put some gas in the tank. We'll we'll reimburse you with love. Yeah. Travel together. Yes. Carpool. Yes. Carpool. We love the environment. Stay in your car if you get drunk. Yes. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, that's Sleep. why I said they've got a big backyard. Bring your tent, man. Nice. We, there's a plenty of room. There's an attic. Yeah. I'm sure Dean would love to have everybody stay the night. Oh, my. <laughs> come on down. We Please love you, Dean. Come. What it's kind a, of friend is this, man? He, he, that's our manager. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh, um, shit. Also, a shout out to Logan Brewer. He's been helping us out with some stuff yeah, here and there. Yeah, definitely. What was your shout out, Cole? Well, I was just going to say uh, Liberty Grove, of course. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They recorded Jay the last and album. Rick. Um, shout out to Den Mother, who are the only reason we have are in Huntsville at all. To, and yep. have, you know, greased the wheels that this, even this is happening now. So definitely right. a big shout out to them. They're awesome. Um, shout out to my dog, Luna. <laughs> Keep chewing that bone. All right, well, we're going to wrap this up and um, uh, definitely appreciate you guys uh, coming out here. Likewise. And um, I was hoping that it would be okay if I played uh, Window Pain at the end of this episode. That would be play that puppy. exceptional. Oh, Come on, here. Diddy. Thank Are you, you just going to post production this or can we actually like listen to it with you? No, it's going to be, you'll hear it on Wednesday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trade secrets. Dump that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, man. All right, guys, I was so, wanting uh, to jam it out with you, dude. For our, for our listeners, uh, goodbye, good night, and good luck. Yes, Peace. Sir, thank you. Peace.
stone shed.